So this is a quick tip for any NX users who are having problems getting their environment variables to work within their build. So I've got a couple of example apps set up here, just a simple React app and a simple Express app uh, with one endpoint, that's the default endpoint. Uh, and I'm just trying to get the React app to actually pull that uh, data from the API uh, by referencing an environment variable, which is the location of the actual where the API is running. So our React app looks a little bit like this. Uh, so just basically getting the uh, using a fetch request to get the data. But the main problem is we've got this environment.api URL uh, variable, uh, which is populated by the environment's files. So there's no problem there. Uh, but we're actually referencing the process.m. So that's the shell where this uh, uh, build is running uh, to actually get the API URL. So what you might think you should do uh, is just go back to the shell and export the API URL uh, variable uh, or environment variable uh, and set that to where the uh, Express app is running. So that'll be localhost and four threes. And then if you run the Express, uh, sorry, the React app again, uh, you should find that this is then populated uh, with the value that we just provided in the shell. Um, but that is actually not the case. So if you go back to the React app, you can see when we're making that request, uh, that API URL property uh, is actually uh, undefined. So what's the problem there? Uh, well, it's something as specific to NX, and I don't really know the exact reason why this is the case. Uh, but what we actually need to do, rather than saying uh, just plain API underscore URL, we need to prefix that environment variable with nx underscore and anything that you want to get into the actual app uh, build you actually need to prefix with uh, nx so if we update our environments file to reference the variable uh, that we're creating on the shell and then rerun the react app one more time if we go back to the react app we should find that that should now work uh, and now we're getting the uh, a good call to the api and uh, that uh, the message from the API itself is being uh, passed back to the React app as well. So that's the reason probably why your uh, environment variables aren't working within your NX app. Uh, so there's a couple of things that you can do to make this a bit easier because you obviously might uh, forget to actually export uh, that uh, command, uh, that, that environment variable before running uh, your app. So you can always put this into your package JSON scripts or something, uh, but you can run the Express app in this way as well. Uh, sorry, the uh, React app, so React, uh, damn it, app, and then serve, and that way it will populate the environment variable uh, for you when the app is run. But there's another thing you can do as well, and that's to use environment files, and luckily uh, NX is actually set up to do this as well. So you can actually create environment files in various different places in the mono repo. So we can create an M file here, and then you can just put any environment variables you want in there, such as the uh, API URL that we've been using. And this makes it a bit more flexible because then you can actually uh, uh, just load this environment file up uh, as long as there's no sensitive information in there at all as well. So uh, we should find that now if you just run the uh, React app, it will use that environment file uh, and set the API URL accordingly. And there are different places where you can put these environment files and I'll put a link to this uh, helpful document from NX, uh, which tells you all about the uh, uh, environment variables that you can use and it shows you where you can put any of these M files as well. So you can put them specific to an existing app, or you can just put it into a global uh, scope as I did just a moment ago at the root of your project. So there you go, there's the fix if you need to actually uh, get your environment variables working with NX. The only thing you need to do is just make sure you prefix them with NX. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.